Hi, my name is Kieran Mullen and I'm a design technology teacher at Abraham Moss Community School. So I wanted to set the pupils a challenge so that, so that they have to think like an engineer and I wanted them to solve a problem in a practical way. You have a tray of resources and you've got all of this material and I want you to decide. So you, you're going to make this part of it first, okay, like the body of the buggy. So you have these components, so a question I would ask myself is where are these going to go? Through observing and speaking with pupils as they worked on their project, I wanted to gain an insight into their approach at solving the problem. I wanted to see if modern technology such as a laser cutter and a 3D printer supported pupils to design iteratively. Let's say I, let's say I show you how to draw the two holes on 2D design. What information will you need from this here? The sizes of them, yeah, the size of the hole and the distance they are apart. Throughout the project, I did not want to instruct pupils with their design and I wanted to facilitate it and I wanted to ask some probing questions. And what we're hoping is that maybe when you do it, it doesn't quite work and you realise, oh, you know, they're too far apart, they're too big, they're too small. But because you're going to use this laser cutter and you're going to use this yourself, it's so quick that you can easily just change it. Working individually or in pairs, pupils had to design a buggy that incorporated a number of electronic components. Pupils used a computer-aided design program to design parts of the buggy and then they manufactured them using the laser cutter and a 3D printer. I wanted pupils to have the freedom to take the project in whichever direction they wanted as long as they achieved a successful outcome. Throughout the project, I wanted pupils to encounter design issues that they had to overcome. After I concluded the project, I wanted to reflect on some of my key observations. Generally, I found the approach of the pupils when it came to their design and making to be very similar. The main difference came at the beginning, where some pupils wanted to spend quite a bit of time working with paper and, and drawing things out again. Some pupils wanted to jump straight on to the computer-aided design. As pupils worked through their designs, they placed little value on this aspect of their work. So much so that when, when they made something and it, it didn't do exactly what they wanted, they would often try and discard it. And it, it was a constant challenge for me to, to show them that, that this was important. Have a go at making it, and if it's not uh, correct, we can change it. One of the main reasons why this project was so successful is that the fact that we had a laser cutter within the department. The alternative to that is to use traditional workshop machineries, which just don't have, they don't have the same scope as a laser cutter does. The laser cutter provides many opportunities for the pupils to fail. The speed at which pupils could identify a problem, amend their design on the computer, machine their work on the laser cutter and then test it was extremely fast. Because of the speed of the laser cutter and how quick it worked, it helped keep the engagement of the project very high and after some basic uh, training, pupils were able to do all of this for themselves. So this part of the buggy was manufactured using the, the 3D printer and initially pupils were, were more impressed with the 3D printer than they were with the laser cutter but when they, when they realised how long it took for one of these wheels to be machined that instant first impression began to wear off. This is your work okay, and this is the buggy that you ended up with but can you tell me a little bit about it, tell me about the, why did you start doing this? Well, just like I had an idea or something how I could start it and then I kind of just went on from there to like develop my idea. And how, uh, how did this help? How did this, this help? This helped me because like, when I went onto the computer and make it, I had all the dimensions already and everything so I could just do it on the computer straight away. Is there any reason why you, you didn't just use the computer straight away? Why did you, because some pupils chose to do that, why did you choose to? Because then I would have made like a lot more mistakes and all that. This helps me like improve. Okay, like so my you, idea before I do it on the computer. Yeah, and then and then you went on to the computer and you used the program two uh, D design. Can you tell me a little bit about what what's going on on this piece of work? Uh, this was the first one. I didn't I didn't print the whole base, but I just wanted to know where like the motor would go and where like the wheels and things like that. And and then you went on to the computer and you used the program two uh, D design. Can you tell me a little bit about what what's going on on this piece of work? Uh, this was the first one. I didn't. I didn't print the whole base, but I just wanted to know where like the motor would go and where like the wheels and things like that. So I just made that as, like, test kind of thing. Okay, and then I see lots of black marks and pen yeah. pen marks on it. What are they? Are they? They were uh, more things like I needed to cut out, like for example these things are over here for the wheels to like be supported. 
what was it that was different about this challenge? Well, like, first of all, I had a lot of fun making all this, and that like, I liked like having a lot of freedom to do what I wanted and to like experiment with that, my idea. Like, because in class, you get given a task to do, and you have to do it the way the teacher tells you. But in this one, I could have like I could do my own thing and develop my own skills. Did it get easier just through using it more? Or? Yeah, just like experiment with it, like mess around, try new things. Because in this project, what was so good about the laser cutter? What, what might you say? What did it allow you to do? I mean, like, you could print many pieces as you want, and it'll only take you five minutes. But if I had to do it in like five pieces, I'd have to be like really careful what I wanted to do. Another thing is that it's accurate, and like you don't need to use like glue or anything to stick the pieces together and all that because they fit perfectly. This is a, a there's many different definitions of what an engineer does. This is just one. So engineers combine the fields of science, so imagine the science department upstairs and the mathematics departments over there and within the technology department to solve problems or challenges. And then this last bit, engineers develop an idea, test it and make it into reality. So focusing on that bottom line, do you think that's what you did in this project? Yeah, we were given a challenge to make a uh, product and yeah, we had to think of our own ideas and our own plan. And is there any evidence of you develop? You know, how did you? Is there any evidence of you developing your idea? Yeah, like as you can see, like I started really basic, and then I changed some things like as I went through. Yeah, and how when you made part of it, how did you test it? Could you give me an example? Yeah, I check if that fits there, mm -hmm. and then. Anything else? Anything about the motor housing or anything? Yeah, I put the motor there and I put the screws through it mm. and then see if it all fits and I'll see if like every, everything will fit and work. And did you make uh, the final product? What was the yeah. project that was in your head? Yeah, this is what I came out with. So, and is, is, is that kind of what was in your head to begin with? Yeah. During this project, I saw firsthand the importance of supported risk taking. This is something that we always try and do in this design technology department. And after this project was finished, uh, I reflected on my, my Key Stage 3 projects and actually identified a, an area of uh, the Year 8 project where I could allow pupils more opportunities for risk taking.